Uh, good morning, I'm Chad Cook, Operations Section Chief with California Incident Management Team 1, coming to you from the Creek Incident. I'm going to just discuss the overall operations on the Creek Fire this morning and give you a situational update. We'll start up in Division J, Juliet. As you can see, this fire has still not moved at all, and people continue to ask us questions about what's going on with this portion of the fire. Uh, I'll just go through it one more time and give everybody a situational update. This piece of uh, line is up into a lot of rock escarpment, and the fuels are very, very sparse. They continue to burn out heavy logs and dead trees that are on the ground that have fallen over the years, and they continue to burn in and out. Although when I move my hand and I just show you this small area right here, this is not representative of the map. This is a very long distance that's in here, in and around these rocks, and some of it is very steep and inaccessible terrain. So we continue to monitor it from air. Um, it has not moved where it's at, but it still has a heat signature. Over the next several days, next several weeks, I'm sure this will be black line because there has been no growth, but we're going to continue to monitor it, but it has had no further growth to the north of towards Yosemite. Most of this fire is in suppression repair state, so all the way down the western edge, all of these divisions, all the way around the south, all the way up into Shaver Lake, Huntington Lake, everything you see here is in suppression repair. Suppression repair is after the fire comes through, uh, there are several actions that took place. Those actions often, often caused damage to the land when we used mechanized equipment and also um, it creates a lot of hazards that are out there. So crews and resources continue to work all the way around the fire to repair the damage that the fire caused. When you get up into this portion over in the Division Mike and out towards uh, Thomas Edison, this fire has continued to slowly move into the rock escarpments here, very similar to what we have going on here. Very, very limited growth that hasn't moved. The only place we've had fire movement is a little bit in the Fish Creek area and the middle fork of the San Joaquin River. We have crews that are in place there today. They're cutting some line, they're going direct, and they're just stopping this, any kind of forward progress of the fire. The fire does continue to move slowly in the old Lion Fire burn scar, which is sitting right in this general here. And when we say a burn scar, several years ago in 2017, we had a fire right here, which um, basically consumed the fuels that are right here. So. It, as it moves into there, it's just cleaning up some of the material that did not burn. We're monitoring this as well. Out here towards Thomas Edison Lake, we've inserted crews into this H25, H27, where crews are going to be out there today. And we're just going to check the fire spread from moving any farther to the east. Well, once that happens, this could continue to burn up into the rocks. And again, we do not anticipate any northerly or northeasterly spread of this fire in Division Mike. Crews are in there actively doing that, and they're supported out of a spike camp and um, helicopters will support their operation today. With that, that's a general overview on the fire and what's going on. Again, a lot of suppression repair taking place in the fire and a few pinpoint actions where crews are working directly on the fire. You're going to see more smoke production today, probably over into Mammoth because our weather change and our wind has changed where we're getting more of an upslope draw, which is going to punch some smoke back into the Mammoth Lakes area. With that, that's your morning update. Have a good day.